What's going on, guys? Uh, I'm back. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to It Resolves. Uh, this is going to be a bit of a different video. We're just going to be sitting and chatting today. Um, didn't feel like doing some gameplay. I have a lot of things that I wanted to chat with you guys about. Uh, a lot of just basic life updates. So if you're looking for gameplay, really anything magic related, probably not going to be the video for you, and that's okay. Uh, you don't have to watch, but if you're interested in the last couple weeks and how things have been going and uh, some of the things that we tried, my trip, which I will be talking a little bit about, um, then this will be great. This is going to be a nice little update for you guys. A great way to decompress and kind of get all my thoughts out over the last couple weeks as well, because uh, as, as most of you know, it's been a very busy time. All right, so first and foremost, I do want to talk about some of the things that have been going on over the last couple of weeks because uh, I've kind of piecemealed them out, but I haven't really talked all about them. And we'll talk about trips and things like that as well in this. Um, first things first, uh, the last two weeks have been spent doing a lot of different things. First and foremost, uh, for those of you who don't know, I do work a full time job as a web developer, but that doubles as an AV uh manager for conferences uh and so for me i actually had a conference in charlotte north carolina at the nascar hall of fame absolutely beautiful place absolutely fun place not a nascar fan at all uh but it was a really fun conference a couple days that i did have to run uh part of the the av side of things and um with you know leading up to the event and obviously taking care of the event um i was kind of out of commission for a few days and therefore had to pre-record as much as I could and during that time we did a lot of just regular standard gameplay video thankfully we didn't miss any uh, and thankfully we didn't miss any of the collection updates either which is really cool um, so that was kind of the first thing and that was a couple weeks ago uh, I believe two weeks ago like the first week in April um, now we started that on like a Sunday Monday Tuesday was the conference and that Friday no Saturday uh, Caitlin, my amazing wife and I, uh, decided we were going to be taking our honeymoon during her spring break. So as most of you guys know, I was married in October to Caitlin, who is an amazing individual. Absolutely love her to death. Uh, she is a, a school teacher, uh, for fourth grade. Um, and as such, we weren't able to take a full on honeymoon because she only gets a few personal days a year. And so we did take a very small, small honeymoon right after the wedding, uh, in October, but... We did plan during her spring break to take the full week and go down to uh, the Florida Keys uh, and enjoy some time away and just relax for a full week. Uh, and so we had already had that planned. I'd already taken off for it, but it was a rough timing in the sense that there was a conference a few days before that I had to prepare for and be out for for a couple days uh, and then obviously out for another week. And in terms of the channel, that caused a lot of stress on my end for trying to pre-record as much as I could, make sure everything was good. I didn't want to miss a day. I still don't want to miss a day, which is uh, part of the reason why we're doing this video and kind of recapping all this is because I want to make sure we've got content coming out every day. Uh, we've been doing a really good job of that since the, the start of the year, the start of 2022. Uh, and it's been a really great thing for the channel uh, and while I don't want this channel to be a stressor for me because it's fun and I want to keep it fun, uh, it is important to note that, you know, this is on some level a business and I do want to treat it as such and I want to make sure that I'm putting out content consistently for you guys to enjoy. And so uh, that was a lot uh, over the last couple weeks. Um, to briefly say, the Florida Keys trip was amazing. We stayed on Isla Mirada, uh, which was a beautiful choice. Caitlin found the resort that we were able to stay at, uh, and it was stunning. Uh, we were, at, I, I don't talk about this a lot, but uh, we are, we both like having a drink every once in a while, and I love scotch. And uh, there was a bar literally outside of our window that unfortunately didn't have scotch, so I had to drink fruity drinks all week. Uh, which is fine. <laughs> they were delicious. Um, but we we had uh, a nice little room to ourselves. We were able to go to the bar and just sit and enjoy. The bartender was an amazing individual, super nice guy, used to be a chef, like had a really cool backstory and was just super, super nice. Uh, we There was a little saltwater pool there and then there was the ocean maybe 20 feet away with a private beach and the whole nine. 
Um, now, it wasn't private to just us. It was just to the, the resort, but it was a very small resort. It wasn't anything super fancy. And so we were able to really enjoy some, some time for us, uh, which it seems over the last, you know, few months we haven't really been able to take because she's had such a difficult year it's been a very busy time for me as well and so uh i am so thankful for that time and to all of you guys who very kindly said in the comments you know i hope you have a great honeymoon i hope you guys enjoy your trip whatever i really appreciate that thank you so much um i i let caitlin know anytime somebody uh commented and was like hey i hope you guys enjoy your trip i was like caitlin look people care um and it was a really fun time uh, and so I'm, I'm very happy to say that despite the drive, we did drive down. That was a 15 hour thing. That was not a good idea. But besides that, uh, it was an amazing week and uh, much needed. And so thank you guys so much for being so supportive during that time. Um, again, we did get content up every day, but uh, we tried some new stuff. And that's kind of what I wanted to segue into here, because uh, as most of you know, I really enjoy standard content. It's really easy to record and, you know, it's fun, but it does get stale very quickly for me. Uh, and therefore, I tried something different uh, for a couple of reasons. Um, for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, obviously the collection updates are slightly different, but those have been kind of the last few weeks, and so that's not new, new. Uh, but over the last couple days, I think five or six days, we've had modern videos up on the channel, which is certainly not the norm um but uh modern as i've talked about before is actually like my favorite format if i had to pick one um i love the card pool i love the power level of the format i love a lot of the tier one decks and even some of the tier two tier three decks i think there's just so much there uh that is really really fun uh and so i wanted to to kind of jump into that that was something i was planning to do later on uh, but it happened to work out in such a way that I was able to do it uh, to, to pre-record for some things and get some of those videos out. Um, a number of you had questions, so I want to address some of those. If I miss your question, I apologize. Uh, first of all, are modern videos going to continue and are they going to be with different decks? Am I going to try different decks? The answer to both of those is I would like to. Um, I love Modern, like I said, I want to keep doing videos for Modern. I would love to try different decks. A couple of people mentioned, because uh, I did respond in Discord to, I think it was Statistic Angel, but I might be wrong. Um, one of you asked, you know, if you are going to test new decks, you know, whatever. I said, yes, I would like to, but it is expensive. Here's my thing, because they mentioned a very good point. Card Hoarder will allow you to rent a deck, um, and it's relatively cheap and that's very, very good and useful for this kind of content. So that is something I'm looking into. Um, something to note though, is that if I do more of that kind of content, I would love to have the cards just in my collection that I can ex make accessible to myself later on for future deck lists and not have to constantly re-rent. Eventually you get to the point where you can just build whatever decks you want with the collection you have and whatever. And so I would like to get to a point where that's the case. Uh, unfortunately, that does make it a little more expensive up front. Uh, and so it's going to be a little bit tricky to get a lot of those things going right away. That is something I'm looking into, though, so please keep that in mind. On the downside, <laughs> um, and this is something I did mention in Discord, viewership was okay on video number one and super declined on the last few. Uh, and that's okay. I, I didn't expect a lot of people to be super into modern by any means, but... Uh, I do have to think about the channel and the viewability of the channel, the enjoyability of the channel, and that's something that I can't get away from. I'm a channel owner, that's just what it is, and so at some point I have to weigh how much I want to do modern content with uh, how many people actually want to see modern content. <laughs> uh, and it, you guys showed me that you didn't necessarily want to see that much modern content. Uh, now, I did release them all back to back, and so that certainly has a lot to do with it. We'll continue to experiment is the takeaway. Um, and so I would like to do that. Let me know your thoughts on this, though. Uh, please, please let me know your thoughts on this, because this is an area where the channel could grow in a different direction, potentially, if we want it to as a group. But I need to know that you guys want to do that. And so without your feedback, without your input, I can't make an informed decision. Uh, and so please do keep that in mind. Um, as far as everything else goes on the channel, collection update. Absolutely loving the collection update. That is another series where like the viewership has definitely dropped. Um, 
but that's one of those things that is super outweighed by the fact that I just love collecting and that's a bigger part of magic to me than actual gameplay. Uh, I do a lot of gameplay obviously because that is where the viewership is and I do enjoy it, don't get me wrong. Um, but collection side of things, way more intriguing to me and way more exciting. And so for me, that's just a pet series that I'm doing every week because I think it's fun. We'll keep it to every week. We don't need to overdo it by any means. Um, but the binder series is really fun to me. We've got some great new cards that I can't wait to talk about this week and uh, some other things as well. But um, all that to say, that's just a really fun series for me. And so I'm really enjoying that one. Uh, as far as standard gameplay goes, uh, yeah, standard gameplay is not going away. I mean, obviously, uh, that's kind of a big one. And so I, I am working towards building a schedule uh, that I would like to kind of set out for myself and give myself some flex days, one or two per week. That could be either modern videos. Somebody did ask if I was going to delve into other formats like Commander, maybe Popper. Those are all possibilities. Those are all things I'd like to do. And so uh, there is a world where we jump into some different formats on some flex days. So uh, now that I am back, this is really the first day I'm back. It's Monday. This will go up the same day, most likely. Um, I would like to kind of put a schedule together that I can share with all of you that will say like, hey, these are the flex days. Everything else is standard. And here's the collection update series and all that stuff. Um, <clears throat> and so just keep that in mind as we're as we're going through the next few weeks. It's just something to consider that that is going to be culminating. That's something I plan to work out for you guys. And that way we can kind of work on it together and, and get to a place where I'm I'm happy with the uh, the content that we've got. But all that to say, guys, uh, I just want to say a huge thank you. I know this is going a bit rambly. This is what I, I do. I'm really good at rambling. So um, I do appreciate everybody's support. Again, uh, it really means a lot to me to have such a supportive community behind the It Resolves channel. This is something that we've worked really hard to build and you guys have made possible. So um, yes, obviously the content is what keeps everybody hopefully together. But Ideally, what I'd like it to be is a place where we can all have a very positive and very fun outlook on what is, I think, a really special game uh, for, for multitudes of reasons. And I want to start to share more of those reasons, including the collection side of it, uh, over the next few weeks and incorporate a little bit more of that. So um, <clears throat> all that to say, I love you all. Thank you so much. Uh, I will end with a short story about uh, the honeymoon, um, which is you'll notice I'm not wearing my hat. Uh, I always have my Be Lucky hat, which is available in our store if you're interested at uh, itresolvesmtg.com. I literally always wear that hat, <laughs> like every day. Uh, it was day three or four, um, and at our resort, there was a there's a beautiful area on the beach where you can walk out. There's actually two. There's an observation dock and then like an actual boat dock. You could walk out on either one. There were some chairs sitting at the end and whatever. So Caitlin and I, one evening, we walked out on the dock. We were just having a nice chat, you know, whatever, having a drink. Uh, and it was a beautiful evening. So we sat for a little while, had a beautiful life chat kind of thing. It was one of those really amazing moments. And I had my hat on. <clears throat> um, and we were walking back uh, to the room. And the weather was beautiful all week, but it was windy. And the wind caught my hat and blew it gracefully into the ocean uh and therefore it was no longer lucky <laughs> so i lost my be lucky hat which just means i have to make a new one so hopefully we will have uh a new design for our hats uh in in the store very soon but again guys please check out the uh, merch this is all a plug <laughs> that's not true but uh if you do want to check out any of our merch please feel free you can do that on our website but guys I love you all again. Thank you so much. Uh, this week has really been a special one and I couldn't do it without you guys. So thank you all very, very much. Caitlin also thanks you. And uh, guys, I love you. I can't wait for, uh, for jumping back into some content. We'll do that hopefully tomorrow. Be back to the normal schedule. It's going to be a great time. So guys, thank you again. I'll see you later.